Hello. Oh, wrong YouTube channel. Okay, how to get your drums to... Uh -huh. Splat. Let's check it out. All right, let's insert P11 Abyss and see how we can get it fast without complicating ourselves with all these knobs. Baby steps. See that the splat is basically your snare, the place where I focus on. Okay, bypassed. Already the default is getting you somewhere there. Okay, I know the splat, usually it's a clean. So I would cut down the sole. See, I don't want, I want the snap at the end of the splat. I don't want snap, it's splat, so. Uh huh. It's supposed to be wet. Splat associated with the wet, so it has this wetness. The second thing is the PSI. See, now it's too clean, that compression behavior. Uh, going to a snap, we're looking for a splat. Uh -huh. and usually it's splat so you need more release time but you can see here this is my uh, right channel input output input output you see so they're about the same but four to one no nine to one good more Aha, uh -huh. this is wet. Beautiful. But my output now is lower than my input. So I just increase. See, now the RMS and these are the peaks. Maybe a bit too much. Okay, next. Again, release. Too tight. I don't want that sound. Uh -huh. Now it's releasing. But for the attack, when the egg falls down, hits the floor, so the attack has to be snappier. That's too much. Uh, I'm not. Uh huh. So now I'm hearing the hitting at two milliseconds. Um, but now again, this is my output. There's an input transformer, output transformer, but I have it on off off. So it's not using a transformer. It's just a digital uh, gain at the start, digital gain at the end. Now I'm just working on the end level but I need to increase so that my output matches my input. Okay. It still have a crunchy sound to it. Ah, knee. I don't need a smooth, I need it immediately to hit. Okay. Now still, now the PSI seems a bit too much. Uh -huh. Okay, I like that sound. If I wanna do something, my kick. Um, see, it's going up to 12. 
I need to not compress it that much. So what the compressor is listening to is the side chain. So let's listen to the side chain. And these EQ now affect the side chain, not your signal that you're gonna hear, what the compressor is hearing. So I want him to listen to my kick. See, I'm lowering the, the kick. 60, 70, doesn't matter. It's just that I have a difference between. So now it's a much softer kick for the compressor. This means my compression is gonna be much lower. Uh-huh. See, without it, the kick doesn't splat. It's just the snare is splatting. Once I kick that in, now I'm hearing the kick and the snare doing the splat sound. We started like this. We ended like that. And that's how you get the splat drums. Till next time, keep diving.